All right, so let's cover the difference from this quad mini up here to this gritty antenna. So next up on their size is the quad pro. So this is obviously a similar panel style antenna. Both of these are four x four Mimo. Um, and this one has their flex mount on it. So it's a very adaptable mount. It can go on a pole. It can go flat against a wall and you can set this up and it can rotate it and it makes aiming very easy because it is directional. You know, I call it like semi-directional because it's kind of like the front of it is directional on the back side, but this one will help with your signal to noise. So if you point this at the tower that you want to connect to, it's going to pick that up way better than towers back behind it are somewhat to the side of it. So this one is a great antenna for most users. If you do not get line of sight, which means you can't see the tower from where you're going to place this, or you have trees or buildings in the way, this is one of the best antennas I've tested. This is one I use at my house because I do have trees and, and terrain in front of me and I actually put it in the attic so I have my roof as well. All right, so next up we have the Dual Plus Duo. So each of these are two by two Mimo antennas. So you have to have two of them together to have a four by four. Now you can use just two if your gateway or modem only has two antenna ports, you could just use one of these. And what's great about this is that it's more directional than the Quad Pro. But these also help you get higher gain. So if you need that stronger gain, you really don't get enough signal even with the Quad Pro, this is an option that you can go to. I've tested these, they do work well, but again, these are going to work better with line of sight. So maybe you have a tower that's eight or 10 miles away, but you can see it because you're on a hilltop and it's on a hilltop. This is going to help with that more so than the Quad Pro will. All right, so for their most powerful one here, this is their gritty antenna. Now this is maybe more of a traditional old school antenna that people have seen. It has a adjustable horn here that you pull in or out to uh, further optimize the antenna for specific frequency. And it is super, and I mean super sensitive on direction. So it has a very, very, very small cone, which is fantastic if you know exactly where your tower is at and you can aim it very precisely 